Hi, and welcome to Midnight Monday Motivation. I am Tiffany R. Easley, your host and your soar strategist, teaching you how to live the life of your dreams by soaring beyond the drama, trauma, and challenges of life. Go ahead, like the video, and share it, because today I am going to be talking about the common denominator. Now, if you're like me, I wasn't a math person in school, but I was thinking about common denominators and the most common area that you learned about common denominators was in math. And I was definitely not a math person, but a common denominator is defined as a feature that is shared amongst a group, a feature that is commonly shared amongst a group. So when I thought about common denominators, I also thought about themes, themes that run in our lives. So I ask you today, what common denominators are you seeing in your life? And as always, I like to share myself as an example. So when I think about the common denominators in my life, there's a few positive, and then there's a few that are not so positive. And I am challenging myself as well as you to really work on those not so positive themes. But let's talk about some of the positive things or the positive common denominators that I have in my life. And you may identify those in yours as well. So for me, a common denominator that I have that I constantly am reminded of is perseverance because no matter what I face, I persevere. I press through that thing and I'm consistent and I d am determined to come out in the end winning. So perseverance is a common denominator that when you learn of me or you hear of me, people will most likely, most likely tell you that I persevered. Another common denominator is that I am bold. I am not afraid. Now, you may say that's not necessarily positive, and I agree because sometimes boldness, if not used in the right context and not used in the right way, can really become or be taken as negative. But I've learned to temper my boldness de depending upon the environment. Another trait or a common denominator is the ability to adapt to my environment or adaptability. I am able to adapt to my, my environment. Now, when I say adapt, I don't mean changing the essence of who I am and what I represent, but learning to adapt so that I can do what I've been called to do. You know how you're in corporate America or you're on a job and you're still kingdom and you have to be mindful that everybody in your work environment is not. But there is a way to adapt to that environment where you can change the environment without having to forcefully be the thermometer. Makes sense? You become a thermostat where they begin to adjust to you instead of you adjusting to them. So those are some common denominators from a positive standpoint. Now, interestingly enough, common denominators can have negative impacts as well. And one thing that I wanted to talk about was the common denominator of attitudes, attitudes and behaviors. If your attitude is consistent with those around you and it's not positive, then you need to change that common denominator. Again, I will use myself as an example. Many times I would change or become that common denominator because of those around me. But I've learned not to be a thermometer, but to become a thermostat and to be that change agent for the good of those around me. So even if it's negative, I may have to stop for a moment, gather my thoughts, and then proceed. And there's nothing wrong with that. Behaviors, the way in which you behave is important because you're going to be tested. 
you're going to be tried. And it's not because people don't like you. It's just because there is greatness on the inside of you that they are challenging to see if you really are who you say you are. So don't take it in a negative light when challenges and tests come your way. Instead, become that denominator that's not so common that you began to be a thermostat and not a thermometer. The final thing, in addition to attitudes, behaviors, is your temperament. Let me be honest. My temperament is mild most times, but I can go from zero to a hundred if it has to do with a certain group of people, like my family or my close, close friends or something near and dear to me, like my passions and my purpose. And what I've learned to do is to understand that those are the things that are going to be attacked most because those are the things that are important to me. So with my temperament, I have to, again, stop. I have to take a deep breath. For me, I have to pray. And then I have to move forward in a way that's pleasing to my creator. So, I ask you today, how are you as a common denominator? Are you changing those around you? Are you letting those around you change who you are? I know that I am going to be that common denominator that's going to change others around me because I am going to be a thermostat and not a thermometer. So, remember, you have the power to be that positive common denominator change the environment and don't let the environment change you. I am Tiffany R. Easley, your soar strategist, teaching you how to live the life of your dreams by soaring beyond the drama, trauma, and challenges of life. Don't forget, you need to link up with us on social media, Tiffany R. Easley, or follow us on our website, tiffanyreasley.com. And guys, I have a change in schedule for my tour. The Memphis date has been postponed. So the first date on my book tour is actually going to be October 26th in San Pedro, California. So make a note of that. The first stop on the book tour is going to be October 26th in San Pedro, California. Until next time, as always, you can live the life of your dreams if you're willing to soar beyond the drama trauma and challenges of life. I hope you have an amazing Monday and a fantastic week. Bye.